set to go. Referee Gilles Levesque is ready to drop the puck. Well, the hype for this one has been off the hook. Puck is dropped. Let's see if this one actually lives up to it. Rush has got it in their own zone. Here's an odd man rush. He scores! Evgeny Malkin! Excellent puck movement on the odd man rush. They catch them short, and they make them pay. Team Rush has got the game's first goal. That didn't take long. I think I blanked, and they're already on the board. Somebody came ready to play. That first shift doesn't usually result in a goal. Ovechkin's carrying it ahead. Moves the puck down low. And he was slowed up. Hooking looks to be the call as the official's arm goes up in the air. Pretty cut and dry from up here, and the official saw it firsthand with hooking the call. It's a penalty of being in bad position, and I think when you impede a player like this, they should call the hooking penalty. Time winding down here. One last chance with this man advantage. They've spent too much time going up and down the ice. they got to get it into the zone quickly. That's a solid check on the play. Blocker saved by the goalkeeper. He clearly thought he had room to get by, but it got closed off in a hurry. He took a big hit there. Moves the puck along the half wall. Quick feed to Pedersen. Right in front! And that's taken by the defense. Trying to shake off the defender. Scores! Pretty deceptive move here. Short little breakaway. He makes no mistake. What a great goal. He deeks the goaltender out after he blows the pack away and pulls away on the breakaway. Team Sweden still down here in the first despite the multiple scoring opportunities. This neutral zone face-off set to go, and we are back underway. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Right out in front. Oh, he gets a blocker on it. What a reaction. Here's a blast. And that shot dies in traffic. Directs it on over to Dananov. Rips it from the blue line. Makes the save on the slapper. Ooh, you don't want to be on the receiving end of that. That is a freight train that went right over top of them. Grabbed along the boards by Provorov. Here they come on the attack. Pass right on the doorstep. Quick shot. And he hangs on just as time runs out. Well, that'll do it for period number one and a chance for both teams to kind of get a refresh here. Well, that's how you start a game. 20 minutes in the books, and it's already 2-0. Did you know that season ticket holders get special discounts and access to insider information? Check our website for details. Second period still to come. We'll take a quick pause and be right back with more action. are back at center ice and we are ready to get period number two underway here we go middle frame now underway as the puck drops one period already in the books ray how have you seen this thing vasilevsky's really focused and tunneled in on the puck tonight that first period was about as good as the goalie can play rocked on the play comes up with the stop i think he got a blocker on that one You know, I won't complain. That was a big hit. You've got to be willing to put your own body on the line to make a hit like that. Nearing the midway mark of the period, and it's a comfortable 2-0 lead we're looking at right now. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. He scores! What a goal! Center 
Norman practice faceoffs at the end of every practice. This time, the defensive guy loses position. The puck ends up on the shooter's stick, and he rifles it by the goaltender. Team Sweden's not out of this yet, but dare I say, new game here, Ray. Yeah, but the momentum's kind of started to swing, James. They've had the majority of shots on goal. The pressure's been there. They finally cash in, and now only trail by one. Pad save, and the goalie made it look easy. Slides the puck near the front of the net. Quick feed to Zabinijad. Here's a shot, gets in front of it. Zabanajad's able to get everything behind this hit. He really lays one on here. Big time save with the blocker! I like the way that he stops this puck, James. Not only does he get in front of it, but he puts it out of harm's way. And there's the wrap-up cue for period number two. 2-1 is where things sit after 40 minutes. Do you want the assurance of knowing you have a ticket to all the big games? Then grab our season tickets. Guarantee your seat for the upcoming playoffs. Call the box office for more information or check out our website. Big third period still to come. We'll get ready for it. Hope you'll join us. And they are ready to drop the puck on period number three. Moment of truth for one team. Here we go. Third period is underway. Ray Ferraro is back down at ice level. Ray, 40 minutes played so far. What's been your assessment of this tilt? Sweden's game plan really can't change or shouldn't change too much. They've owned time of possession. They've had the puck a lot. They just haven't been able to catch the game. Musa quickly over to Malkin. And as he stumbles, he coughs up the puck. Player goes down to the ice. There's the referee's hand in the air. Looks like we got a tripping penalty on the way. Pretty cut and dry trip on that play. Coaches will tell you, be careful with your stick, but you're trying to get the puck. I yep. don't think a lot of times they do it intentionally. We're still in the early stages of this period. We've got a 2-1 game. Good read by the winger as the two setters tie up. Takes it across the blue line. Passes right to the front. Scores! Putting the power in power play. Did just about everything right on that man advantage. They capitalized. It's hard enough to be the goalie when you have to stop the shot. This thing's like a rubber ball. It's bouncing all over the place and somehow ends up behind the goalie. That's a tough break for him. Puck has dropped and we are back underway. Moves it to Provorov. Hammers it, beats the goalie, but can't beat the post. With the blast, oh, what a stop. That's not even a rebound anymore. It's like a clear puck. Off the goalie and into the corner is a safe place. Moves it over to Raquel. Raquel's got it into offensive territory. Wow. Scores! And the deadlock is broken. Well, what a crushing goal to give up. But the other guys worked hard for it. They pressed the play, and now they've got the lead. Well, the only way he's stopping this one is if it hits him. As soon as the shooter went to shoot it, the goaltender dropped into the butterfly. He's looking around that traffic, hoping he can find it. Team Sweden's up by one now here in this third period. They don't have much breathing room, but I guess it's better to be in front than behind. They'll want to continue to try to forecheck. Slides the puck across to Kovalchuk. With possession along the wall. Team Sweden's got the puck along the wall. Moves the piece, scores! They might as well keep that light on behind the goaltender. And again, that's four straight for them here. They have just totally taken over this game. 
When you get in this tight, James, you've got to make a quick move. He goes to the backhand and beats the goaltender. Sweden's latest goal now gives them a two-goal lead here with just minutes remaining in this third. It's a good place to be as you get into the last half of the period, but you want to melt these minutes away by playing aggressively. And a great save! Team Russia's got a hold of it along the wall. Big save by the goaltender once again. Oh, he's locked right in. A couple of stops in a row there. Right in the slot! Scores! Uh, the mountain looks a little less steep now. They get to within one with that marker there. Well, he gets to walk into this and pound it by the goaltender. Nobody picks him up in the high slot. Goalie's not going to get many of these. Russia's got one back here, yes. Ray. How big is that? Well, it does a lot, James. It changes your mindset. It changes the way you approach this. And you don't have to be reckless trying to get just one goal. Here they come on the attack. Passes right to the front. Gives them nothing in front. No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. Wow, did the ice get small for him. There's nowhere to go, and he had to absorb this huge hit. Sweden's offense, the story tonight as they lead it here in this third period. Inside of the last minute here in this third. Stopped by the goaltender. He worked hard to find the puck, but scores! What a counter punch! Wow, that didn't take very long. After giving up a goal, they get right back onto the attack. Ah, the goalie just can't keep up to this, James. The pass is in the wheelhouse, and he hammers it past the goalie into the net. Here in the late goings of the period, Team Sweden's been the better team here over the last few minutes, increasing their lead to two. Shepard's won possession. And now it's over to Radulov. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Kovalchuk. And now he moves it to Provorov. Scores! Oh, good shot. I like the release, James. He really zips it past the goalie, hits the pipe. He gets a nice bounce, and it's in the net. About five years ago, they started to pull the goaltenders a little earlier. The coach makes a good call here. He gets his keeper out, and now they're able to punch through with their net empty. Sweden's been the better team offensively tonight. A lot of scoring chances, and they lead it late in this third period. Backstrom's won the draw here in the neutral zone. Moves it quickly over to Forsberg. Team Rush has got the puck along the boards. Ovechkin's got it along the boards. And out comes the extra attacker with the goaltender parked on the bench. Passes over to Nyquist. There's the final horn sounding, putting this baby to rest. Ray, more shots generally translates to more scoring opportunities. In this case, more goals. You need to finish at the end of the day, but if you have more shots, a lot of people feel that's a really good marker for the game. More territorial play in the offensive zone. In the meantime and in between time, he's Ray. I'm James. Good night.